Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play Stranded Deep. My name is Weasel, and we're going to jump right into this new survival game that hits Steam today. We're going to survive on an island in the ocean. Ooh. And you might have an idea how we're gonna get there. Yes, we're currently on our, what it seems to be, private jet plane. Very, very nice. We're all alone in here. Just, uh... Oh, dude, I can still smoke on here? I guess since it's mine. Just assuming this is mine. And yeah, we are in the middle of nowhere. And uh, yeah, I'm supposed to make myself a martini. You guys are doing fine? Yeah, that's uh, the captain got this. They, they both got this. All right, I'm gonna make myself a martini. Very good, let's craft that. Hmm, perfect. And obviously, I'm going to have to set it on fire. I'm gonna pick it up and I'm gonna drink it. I did not know you set martinis on fire. I, I really did not know that. I'm gonna head back to our seat. And gonna enjoy the rest of the flight. Head back to your seat, it's going to be a long flight. We're gonna see about that. Yeah, I don't, I don't think this is gonna be a, a long flight. This is going down! Ah, uh, this is terrifying. I already don't like planes, but this is terrifying. All right. Hey, perfect, I survived, yay! Get a life raft to the surface. Everything's exploding! It's very loud. Hey guys, you doing okay? Oh, okay, he's dead and the other guy... The other guy imploded. I don't know where he is, I just see one. One dead person, that's fine. The explosion was so brutal, he just... Exploded into little uh, pieces. Ooh, newspaper! Shark claims another victim. Oh, this is not, this is not a good idea. I should get away from here. This is sucking me in. Oh, I'm dying so, I'm gonna die so hard. Or not. I mean, I was not worried about my well-being. This is beautiful. We are in the middle of nowhere. And we're going to head for this island now. Grab the paddle. And let's paddle. What is that in the way? So the awesome thing about this game is it's procedurally generated. So um, every time you play, you're gonna have a different island. Which I really like. What is, is that a boat right? That is cool. I can dive in there. That's actually really cool that we have a boat so close. So I played a little bit before I recorded this video. So I played a little bit before I started recording this video. So I have an idea what I'm supposed to do here. And that everything is working just fine. And first things first, we're going to take up. Oh, going to take our raft here. And we're going to pull it on shore. Come here. And you can pull items with right-clicking, dragging. It's actually a really important mechanic in this game. My first tip that I can give you is save your rocks. You're really gonna need your rocks um, for whatever reason. They're not all over the place. I mean, you see these rocks, but you can't really use them. Just the ones you can pick up. And you're gonna need them for crafting. So let me drop that paddle in here. And let's grab some rocks. I was actually really lucky. I... Got a axe in my first attempt at this game. I found a toolbox on an island, an abandoned island with an axe in it. Very uh, practical, but I don't think I'm gonna have that much luck. So what you want to do is you want to make a little pile with all the items you collect. Uh, you open up your inventory with tab and we have a lighter, a knife, a water bottle and actually two more rocks. Oh, there I opened the console there. And the first things I want to do is I want to make a crude axe so I can chop down trees or these palms. So for that we're going to need rocks, sticks and uh, rope. And you get rope from yucca plants. And you just need your pocket knife that you have with you and you're going to keep whacking at it. And there we got two lashings. That will do the trick. We're going to drop them on here. And we need sticks. That's uh, also an important thing. An important key ingredient for an axe. This is really beautiful, by the way. I really like this. It's a very calming experience at night when you have a little campfire going, which we're gonna have. Hey, little guy. I'm gonna eat you. I'm gonna be delicious. We also got coconuts, I think. I don't know if we got them here. I don't... Oh, there are some. There are some green coconuts. Let's drop that here. Do I have... Yeah, there we have some sticks. Okay, now we have a context menu because we dropped everything onto one spot. And we're gonna go for a crude axe. There it is. Crude stone man axe. I like this. And let's see. Oh, we can also make a crude hammer. 
Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna also make a crude hammer right now. So you might be wondering, how do I know if I'm hungry or uh, what my health is and all those things? Because there's no UI. You got this cool, awesome survival watch. Check this out. Tells us the temperature, the time. And uh, if you click, you switch to your uh, health, food and water meter or thirst meter telling you all those things. So you got to keep an eye on that. Um, it's not going to run out dramatically. So you're not like dying in a day if you didn't eat anything. But you're going to need some food eventually. Um, so now that we have our axe, did I select the axe? Yeah, the crude axe. They look similar. Not surprised. We're going to chop down, let's say, this tree here. This nice giant palm. That's going to make a lot of sticks and logs. You just keep whacking at it until it finally gives in. There you go. Ah, and it dropped all the coconuts. Okay, let's pick up the coconuts. Oh, okay, there it went. <laughs> For a second, I thought the tree disappeared here. No, we're good. Everything's fine. Didn't encounter too many bugs yet in this game, which is a nice, pleasant surprise. Okay, we're gonna put the coconuts on this spot. Have a nice coconut pile. Don't know what to do with them yet. I assume I can split them open. I'm just gonna keep whacking away at the trunk with the axe. By the way, all the items that you have and uh, all the tools that you have have a durability meter. This is below the icon. It will show you in what durability your stuff is right now. Okay, it's gonna take a little bit. Just keep whacking, just keep clicking. And now you have a lock which you can drag around. You can also drag the whole tree around. But uh, you want to chop up the lock even further. You just want to keep going until the following happens. You get sticks. Yes, we need a lot of sticks actually. I want to build a little shelter for myself. And for that, we're going to need a foundation. I haven't built one yet because I ran out of stones. I built a campfire and then I did not have enough stones to build a hammer. And you're going to need a hammer to build a foundation. So that's why I said, you know, take care of your rocks. Don't build a fire pit instantly. Uh, you can go to other islands, I think. It's a little bit dangerous, but you might find rocks over there if you run out of rocks. So not everything is lost. We just keep whacking away until we have more sticks. And I'm gonna make a nice big stockpile. And we can make a campfire, but I don't want that yet. Thank God to modern editing, you don't have to watch all of this. And dropping the sticks. And I'm gonna select my hammer. Oh, I know, don't throw it away. You throw things away with Q, by the way. And now everything is blue and I can build a foundation. It actually requires only eight sticks. And the foundation we can pick, uh, any, put anywhere we like. Um, somewhere up here. I would like that. All right, now we got a little foundation and we can keep adding walls to that. So you need to drop the sticks onto the foundation, you use the hammer and then you can add foundation supports. Not entirely sure I'm doing the right thing here, but it does look awesome. I'm gonna need to put the sticks onto the foundation. And we need to chop up the rest of our tree actually to build a wall. We need palm fonts to build walls, I think if I remember correctly. And there we go, four palm fronts. All right, let's throw those on there. Oh, that's so professional. And I need my hammer. All right, a wall, perfect. Now we have a wall. And we can put them in between two supports. That is awesome. And we have an awesome wall. Very nice. I need more sticks. More sticks are needed. Let's keep chopping down. Nice palm trees. Nope, this is not gonna bite me later when I'm running out of trees here. That's the problem, there's not a whole lot on these little islands. All right, let's pick up the coconuts. I probably should get some coconut water out of them. And let's chop up the tree. I wish I had a summer hat. This feels like I would need a summer hat for this. Like a nice straw hat or anything along those lines. I don't think my Domokun hat fits in here very well. This feels very tropic to me. So much clicking. So I'm gonna drag this log over. I don't need to finish that up. Let's put it over here. And we actually, I think I have enough rocks for our campfire later on. But my axe is alarmingly low. Give me that stick. What are you doing there, stick? I need you here. I want a... I need four palm leaves. That's a lot. Okay. All right, let's get a roof over our head. Oh, look at that. Oh, this is nice. I like this. I need more palm fonts or whatever they're called. 
I need those. Oh, I can pick those coconuts up. Okay, I'm not going to uh, fell these trees because I can pick the coconuts directly from them. And I hope they respawn. I don't know if they do. If they do, I am... This is, would be wonderful. I'm just gonna fell this palm tree. And it's getting dark, so we're going to have to make a fire very soon. Oh, well, that's fine. All right, let's drag the tree over to our camp. I don't have to carry everything so far. And I'm gonna chop up the top, the palm bunch. All right. Oh, wow, it got really dark really fast. Um, it might be a good idea to make a fire now. Uh, let's see. Let's make a little campfire here. Right next to our little hut. And then we're gonna use our light here that we have. And there we have a beautiful little fire going. Wonderful. Okay, I need... Another wall. For a little hut. Oh, I killed- I killed the crab. This should do the trick. Let's put it over here. And we have our little hut going. Wonderful. It's not a lot yet, but it's mine. <laughs> we got shelter, we got fire, we got a lot of coconuts. Actually, we got a crab. We got another- Oh, look at all these crabs here. Where are you going, little buddy? Come here. Good boy. And I should probably cook it. I'm just gonna throw it <laughs> over the fire. I hope this does the trick. They don't, they, they don't seem to stay in the fire, so I think I'm gonna have to- I think they're cooked already. And... I seem to be doing fine. Ugh. No. Oh, I'm vomiting. That's not good. Right, let's have a quick look. Uh, I'm doing okay. So we made ourselves a little hut. We made a fire. We have coconuts and we are on our way to survive. And we're going to check out the shipwreck in the morning. I'm gonna dive there and hopefully we're gonna find some awesome loot. And hopefully we're not going to die and keep surviving in this trend of deep. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like. And I hope to see you guys in the next one. I'm Weasel. I'm out. I hope to see you around. Bye-bye. Shit is going down. Shit is going down. Out of my way. Oh, wait. No. Actually, in my way. All the Molotovs have all the fire. This is fun. I like this. I'm enjoying this way too much. Oh. Hey, easy! I'm here! Don't worry, I'm gonna make it fast. Come back here. Ooh, that was definitely a fun map. Like, dangerous race. Reach the extraction zone. Okay, I can do that. Uh, oh, I have 50 seconds left! Okay, gotta be fast, gotta be fast. Gotta be fast. Gotta be fast. Hey, buddy! Don't mind me!